Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. More new jobs as Trump announces $7 billion investment by Intel. By Fred Maxwell. The city of Chandler, Arizona, received good news Wednesday from the Oval Office of the White House. During a meeting with President Donald Trump, the CEO of Intel, Brian Kurtzanich, announced the company will be investing $7 billion to complete its newest and most advanced factory in Chandler. Trump posted the announcement on Facebook, where it received many positive responses. Shane Close posted, I'm so thankful for President Trump's tireless and thoughtful efforts on behalf of all Americans and his vision to elevate our country to unprecedented and vertiginous heights of excellence and meaningful prosperity. Louis Hong posted, Jobs, jobs, jobs. Those are the three words that he kept repeating during his campaign. Liberal lefts, keep staying in your world of good feelings, Trump train is full charge ahead. Another day, another few thousand new jobs. Nice job, Mr. President, wrote Paul Margansky. Some, however, sought to throw cold water on the announcement. Katie Burlington posted, if Trump took credit for inventing oxygen his supporters would believe it. This deal was brokered with Obama years ago. Nice try. George Michon wrote, Intel produces over 75% of its chips in the U.S. Always has. This has nothing to do with Trump. It's been in the works for years. You are being conned. The decision by Intel is expected to result in approximately 3,000 new jobs locally along with a 10,000 jobs statewide impact. Following the announcement, Arizona Governor Doug Dussey issued a statement that read, Intel's expansion in Arizona is huge news for our state. With thousands of jobs and a $7 billion investment, Fab 42 will create a ripple effect throughout our economy. This means jobs for Arizonans, and a historic investment in our state. Intel's commitment to Arizona speaks volumes about our workforce, advanced educational infrastructure, business environment and commitment to technology and innovation. This represents a core area of Arizona expertise, advanced engineering and manufacturing. We are thrilled about this announcement and what it means for Arizonans. Kurtzana chatted that the majority of Intel's manufacturing as well as research and development is performed in the United States, while over 80 percent of the company's products are sold outside the United States. Following the meeting with Intel's CEO, the president called Intel's announcement a great thing for Arizona, adding, We're very happy, and I can tell you, the people of Arizona are very happy. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.